This program was made possible in part by... The sound of these bees is the sound of a safe environment and of an important source of safe, affordable food. Honey is a specialty crop produced in our state that is created from plants in our area. Mississippi beekeepers provide a safe, abundant, and affordable supply of honey to homes and restaurants statewide, while byproducts are used in soaps and other skin care products. Support Mississippi beekeepers by locally produced honey. The Farm Families of Mississippi. Mississippi Seafood Marketing, a division of the Department of Marine Resources. From our waters to your table. Fresh, local, healthy. Information available at dmr.ms.gov. Well, hello. I'm Chef Rob Stinson, and this is Fit to Eat. And here we are in Biloxi at the Biloxi Seafood Festival, and I just want to say thank you one and all. I see a lot of familiar faces out there, and we are thrilled to be cooking here some beautiful, fresh Gulf seafood. So what we're going to do today is I am cooking redfish, and that redfish is some beautiful, fresh fin fish from our Gulf. So let's talk about the difference. All of you can go into stores and you see seafood, and who knows where it's from. Take the time to buy local. What's Fit to Eat all about? Fit to Eat is about taking great local Mississippi ingredients, preparing them a little differently than your traditional fried seafood, and putting it together that's got some spice, some flavor, some pizzazz, if you would. And where we're gonna go with this, I just wanna show you, these are some beautiful fillets of redfish. Caught yesterday, all right, brought fresh to you. And I just love, love the idea that we can get, and I really do believe Biloxi is the seafood capital of the world. You know, back in the 1700s, it was actually noted that we were. Who discovered Biloxi? Anybody out there knows? Come on, somebody's gotta know. D'Aberville, back in 1699. And it became the commerce point of the South. What did we sell? What was on the railroads? All of our seafood was going elsewhere. So we became literally the seafood capital of the world. And at this festival, that's really what you're celebrating. So we're gonna have a little variety today on your traditional. We're gonna make a mix that actually uses honey, Dijon, and pepper. All right, now, all of these details that you're seeing on this recipe, you can go to mpbonline.org slash fit to eat, that's me, and get any of these recipes, watch them, and actually kind of take notes. So if you don't know what was in this or you can't remember, don't worry about it. All right, where we're gonna go next is to take these ingredients and mix them into a paste. Then that paste, in turn, I'm gonna coat on the redfish. And the trick with grilling redfish, anybody try grilling redfish on your char broiler and it falls apart, huh? The key, put it on the grill and don't touch it till it's time to turn it, all right? That is the trick. So let's take our Dijon mustard. Let's take our honey now. Honey, this is great local honey. I got it at a local farmer's market. What's the difference? Local honey has got a natural antihistamine that if it's from the area where you live and you consume it on a regular basis, helps you fight allergies. I don't know if you knew that, but it's true. A tablespoon a day might literally help keep the doctor away. All right, now we got cracked black pepper. What I'm gonna do is actually take a little bit of fresh cracked black pepper as well. And that literally becomes our mix and if you really think about this, this is fat free, all right? That's the beautiful part about it. And you're gonna see me trying to keep myself beautiful today. I hope you don't mind. I know you're as hot as I am out there, although being by this grill, I might win, I might win. All right, we're gonna cook a couple extra pieces. Now we're gonna take that glaze and actually, you know, the easiest way on this, I'm gonna take it and just kind of dip one side and then put it right on the grill, all right? Gonna coat it. 
And then it's gonna sit on that grill. Look at that, woo! We're gonna do two pieces because at the end, if you're really good, we might actually let you sample some of this. All right, at least some of it. Maybe not all of it. All right, now that's just gonna sit. And remember what I was saying, the test with redfish, some fish is firmer than others, and it's easier to grill. You know, you can actually have drum and some really firm fish like amberjack or mahi that grill really well. We're going to take our time. I'm going to cut that down just a hair and turn. And it's doing great. All right, now, what else, you ask? Funny you should ask that. We got to have a little mix of food that's going to go with this. And what I thought, all right, you want a balanced meal. So balanced meal means you gotta have some vegetables and you gotta have some starch. And we're doing everything, this is grilling on the Gulf today is really kind of the name of the game. So where we're gonna go next is sweet potatoes. All right, let's look at these beautiful, fresh, sweet potatoes. All right, one more time out there, somebody's gotta know this. What's the sweet potato capital of the world? Who said that? Vardaman, I heard it. Somebody knew. Unbelievable. Very good. Thank you. Vardaman, Mississippi. So what does that mean? Man, we have more chicken farms. Our little friends are coming around. We have more chicken farms. We have more pig farms. We have more egg farms. We have the sweet potato capital, and we are absolutely the national seafood capital. People so far underrate Mississippi. That's what this show is about, is telling how great our products are. And if you guys had any idea how much we send elsewhere, you'd be amazed. So where are we gonna go with this? These are gonna be sweet potato crisps. Sharp knife. If you ever try cutting a sweet potato without a sharp knife, you might end up in the hospital. They're firm, very hard. Cut it at the end, slowly, nice sharp knife. Two points. And about three eighths of an inch thick is the cut that we're looking for. So you've got them nice and thin, and why? Because they're gonna actually cook on that grill and they'll be done right at the time that we're finishing. So let's go ahead, and the only thing we're gonna take on those is again, a little bit of that glaze. Put it on the grill. And our website again, anybody remember? mpbonline.org slash fit to eat. All right? We're only gonna glaze one side of the potatoes because they don't really need all of it. Put them right here in a row. And it's easy getting them on, getting them off. Guys, use some tongs. We're ready, we got them. And these are gonna take a little bit of time. Now, we've got some bitter greens sitting over here and those are collard greens. And you guys are saying he's gonna cook all this in about 20 minutes. How are you gonna cook greens in 20 minutes? We're gonna grill it. It's gonna be crispy. It's gonna be flavorful. And all of this food that we're preparing is gonna end up on top of it. And I love cutting into greens when they're still crisp. What else do you get when you eat greens that way is all the nutrients. So remember, one of the things we wanna try and get people thinking of is that when you're cooking your vegetables, don't overcook them. That's probably the biggest mistake people take. Now, we've got a nice variety and I'm gonna set up a whole little array of our marinade that we are going to use for our grilled vegetable skewers, okay? Garlic, jalapenos, pepper, cilantro, vegetable stock, vegetable stock, orange, and lemon, fresh. I love using everything fresh when you can. All right, so now where we're gonna go with this is make up our marinade, and then we're gonna make our skewers. We're gonna kind of put them all together and get them on the grill. So cut your oranges, beautiful, fresh, ripe, local Mississippi oranges. Try and get all that juice. Doesn't matter if seeds are in there because it's a marinade, okay? Take the second, half of that orange, and just get every bit you can Lemons always helps if you kind of 
massage them first. All right, cut it in half. And look how much easier that juice comes out, okay? Beautiful ripe oranges, and I'm trying to get every bit of juice. So what do we got? We got a little sweetness going on in there, and we have a little sour. So it kind of buffers the sweetness that we're dealing with. Then we're gonna add in that stock. Excuse me one second here. All right, now we've got our vegetable stock. And you know, there's a lot of products if you go into the grocery store that you can buy that have no salt. We were talking a little bit ago about a black and seasoning mix that had very little salt. What you're gonna see in this marinade is it has none. Okay, so I'm trying to get everybody to be aware that you know what, let's focus on reducing fat, let's focus on reducing salt, and if you're going to do something where you batter something, you'll see on our shows, we bake it. And you'd be amazed. It's still every bit as crisp, still has the flavor, so you're not sacrificing if you still wanna have that great kinda crispy fried nature of what we cook. We're not doing that today though. All right, garlic, minced garlic. Anybody that knows me knows I love garlic. We're gonna throw all that garlic in the marinade. Jalapenos. Diced jalapenos. The, the trick with the jalapenos is to chop them really fine, okay? Don't get them in your eyes. Don't rub your face. Once you've got them on your hands, wash your hands. And we're gonna add a good amount in there. Because remember, this is a marinade. This is not gonna be something you take a whole spoonful of. This is gonna be spread out over the vegetable skewers we're gonna make. And some fresh cilantro. This all came from local farmer's markets. That's what's so nice about this. That cilantro is chopped fine. And again, this gets real detailed. All right, anybody remember it? Website, mpbonline.org slash fit to eat. MPB, Mississippi Public Broadcasting, online.org, it's a state organization, slash fit to eat. Let's throw in some fresh cracked black pepper. And we're gonna add in some ground black pepper. Now we're gonna take and we're gonna mix that marinade all up. And then we're gonna just kinda hold it on the side for a second. And it doesn't really take long. Some of our jalapenos tried to escape, I'm getting them. They can't escape. Okay, now, what are we gonna do with those? We're gonna make some vegetable skewers. And I'm gonna bring over I'm gonna bring over one that's done, two that aren't. Kind of show you where we go with this. Let's just do one, because we're gonna throw two of these on this recipe. All right, so we're, again, working on balancing our meal. I wanna come back over here, though, right now and talk about our redfish and check it. And carefully, you see what I'm doing? Carefully. Now, there's a trick. Zero fat spray. Watch how you spray. Away from the flame. We're gonna spray the top of everything because when it turns, that's the time it might stick. It's a really neat trick. Make sure your can is away from the heat and boom. Oh man, it looks so good. It's already got a nice little char on it. I'm gonna grab my tongue. And there we go. Man, that's perfect. I don't know if you guys can see that, but it came out really, really nice. Now we're gonna come over here to these sweet potatoes. Woo! You guys are gonna, I think, really enjoy this. Sweet potato crisps. I don't know if you've ever seen it before. I think it's something really neat to do. And the redfish, you've got nice grill marks on it. And again, let it sit, okay? Let's go back. We're not done yet. All right. One skewer. This is the tricky part. You got to oscillate them. So by that I'm talking, let's start red. A nice little button mushroom. And you want to go through the center so they don't fall off. Who's made shish kebabs and had all your stuff fall in the grill? That's the most frustrating thing ever. 
a few pieces of onion cut into a nice cube, and one nice hunk of zucchini. And you notice I started this last because the veggies cook quicker. Now we go again. Tomato, beautiful little button mushroom, our onion, and our zucchini. All right, so where we are right now, if you'll excuse me for one second, got to do a little cleanup here. I know you know what I'm talking about, guys. Where are we? The Biloxi Seafood Festival. It's hot out here. We hear the band, you see the people, and all I can tell you is thanks for coming out to Fit to Eat. We air on Thursday, 7.30. For those of you who have never, ever seen the show, you're seeing it, and I really hope you enjoy this. And this segment, if you didn't hear it earlier, will air September 27th, and then some, and then some. So you might have your faces on TV all over the place, and that's a great thing. All right, let's have a little bit of fun again, and now we're gonna bring over our greens. We're gonna move our greens back to the plate because we're not cooking them yet. They go on only for a moment. In this, we're gonna place our vegetable skewers. All right. I've got a plate ready over here because we probably got about two more minutes on that redfish and it's done. So if I forget, I know somebody out here is gonna remind me, right? There he is. All right, I got a budding chef over here. All right, I like his attitude. He knows it too. All right, marinade. Let's put them over here to one corner and we're gonna kind of put this marinade right over the veggies. And you especially wanna get it into the onion and the zucchini because it'll actually soak in those. And this stuff is so good. Now we're gonna pour it and pour it. And we're gonna save all that marinade, all right? Let's let them sit in there for a moment. And I can see all that goodness on there. You got garlic, cilantro, jalapeno, you got orange and lemon, and vegetable stock, little cracked pepper. And again, go to the website. Oh, I love it. A little cool, we got a little shade, and that's a wonderful thing. Now, where we're gonna go with this, kind of take this, turn them over, turn them over, move them to the other side, and do the same thing all over the other side. And guys, you know, you can let these sit overnight. I wanted to show you how to do this. The more they sit, the more flavor you'll get. And that really turns out nice. And now we're gonna put them on the grill. We're not as worried about these sticking either. It's their veggies. What I love is when the garlic gets that little bit of singeing, it's incredible. So let's do a little table clean up here. And now we're gonna come back over here and carefully, very carefully remove our redfish. Look at that. Not bad, huh? See how that side came out? Perfect. Let's get this one in back. It was my problem, child, first go around. And we only lost a little tiny bit of it. Okay, one of the things that I really wanted to harp on with you guys too, portion size. Those pieces of fish, you'll see, they're not big. That's one entree, that's actually enough for two, but we're gonna have a little bit after we're done so you guys can try a little taste of it. The real key on getting used to cooking healthy is not to eat as much in every sit-down meal you have. Four to five ounces of protein, it's plenty, because you're filling up on all these vegetables and healthy starches, okay? Let's go ahead on this first round of our potato crisps. Can't wait for you guys to try that when we're done. And we're gonna pull these all off. Because we still have one last ingredient to go on there, if you recall, and that is our greens. Now, trick, again. Spray away. And it works so well, guys, it don't work that way every single time. Now we're gonna take and put our greens right where the fish was, why? 
because we're kind of hoping it'll get some of that flavor. And you're like, you're grilling greens? Sounds kind of crazy. I'm gonna tell you, it's delicious. And if you really want to get any of the details, again, you go to mpbonline.org slash fit to eat, and you can get all the recipes, all right? Let's do a little bit of cleanup here. We're going to turn our veggies over in back. They're not going to cook quite as long. Hate to turn my back to you guys. Oh, and they already look good. And that garlic, I can smell that garlic on the grill. Woo! Can you get any of that aroma? Anybody out there? It's hard, I think the wind's going this way. Either that or there's just no wind. <laughs> but I love the fact that you guys are all braving the elements with me today. All right, let's come back to this table, move our greens, because we're actually gonna kind of get set. I wanna take all of that marinade, because you know what? All right, when you marinate seafood and you're done, you really need to discard it because the seafood is raw when you use it. Vegetables, doesn't matter. Vegetables, this marinade can become our sauce, if you would, when we're done. And then if you remember, we still have a little bit of this beautiful glaze. So we're gonna have fun with both of those. And the grill is working great. Let's take. I know you think I'm crazy, huh? Look at that. I wish you guys could really get up here and see that, but when I put it on the plate, you'll be able to. It's only gonna go one more second, and then all of that juice from the redfish and the marinade's gonna soak into those grilled greens. They're delicious, they really are, and they're done. That's how fast they are. Now, to put that on the plate to make it look kinda pretty, honestly, this is something I like to talk about when you're cooking healthy. In my opinion, it's every bit as important that it looks great as it tastes great. And if you're eating healthy, why sacrifice? Typically, what do you get when you go out? Steamed veggies with no flavor, grilled chicken with no seasoning. And man, that's just not the way to eat. You don't have to do that. I'm gonna prove it. I'm gonna prove it with this show. And that's what Fit to Eat is all about. Using great Mississippi fresh seafood, fresh Gulf seafood. Now, to come back on this side, we're gonna move this one up. And where we're gonna go with the Potato crisps, sweet potato crisps are gonna go right around the edge of the plate. I love making everything look so pretty. Now we're gonna take them and put them on the other side. And you notice I've got the side that I had that beautiful marinade, that Dijon and honey glaze. That one is just not cooperating, but I'm gonna win. There it goes. And our last one, let's take it. Set it over here to get our spatula. And I'm gonna take this beautiful piece of redfish, five ounces, set it right in the center, okay? Move that back to our grill. Oh, guys, we're getting there now. Let's take this last one. All right. Now, you can have some fun to make this look pretty. I like to kind of crisscross them, just like so. Oh, I'm getting hungry. I hope you are. Website is mpbonline.org slash fit to eat. All right, let's put that vegetable marinade right on top of the veggies. Put it across here. Because we are drawing to a close, gang, believe it or not. I think that's a beautiful meal. You did it all on a grill. We're going to take one last little spoon of that little Dijon to go in and under on that redfish. One last little dollop there. And, you know, i got to say, I'm so thrilled that I'm here in Biloxi, the seafood capital of the world. Best seafood, best sweet potatoes. Great produce. You know, what's better than that? And if you haven't gone to a farmer's market gang, you got to. But remember, when you're in the store, try to buy local seafood. Don't buy that imported brand. It might be a hair more expensive to get fresh, but look at that. I mean, that's a feast. Totally healthy, five ounces of protein. You just simply don't get anything better than that. 
I am Chef Rob Stinson. This is Fit to Eat. And I just wanted to say I love being here in Biloxi with you all. Thank you so much for coming out today, making this special for me. I hope it was something that you guys enjoyed. And if you'll hang tight afterwards, we're going to announce winners and give away a little bit of this food. Thanks so much. Awesome. Mississippi Family Farms sustain a long, proud tradition that has been handed down for generations. A safe, dependable source for food, fiber, and timber, Mississippi Family Farmers help feed your family as well as their own. Through best practices and modernization, Mississippi Farmers continue to be good stewards of our land and water resources, ensuring a reliable, affordable source of food well into the future. The Farm Families of Mississippi. Support for Fit to Eat comes from Mississippi Seafood Marketing, a division of the Department of Marine Resources. From our waters to your table, wild-caught Gulf Fresh Seafood is fresh, local, and healthy. Information at dmr.ms.gov.